Hi, I'm Dr. Newton, and this is a minute of medicine for your mind. Just last week, I had the opportunity to present at the Higher Education Leadership Conference in Minnesota with a colleague of mine. And after our presentation, a young lady came up to me, which isn't unusual, and began to ask me things about how she could further her career. Well, I listened to her talk about her goals and her experience and all these things, and I was in full-blown Dr. Newt mode. And I began to speak into her, trying to help her with ideas and directions she could go. And she was very receptive and very happy writing things down so she didn't think of those things and she was going to try them. But what happened next is what really surprised me. For about five minutes straight, this young lady who I didn't know and I was trying to help began to speak into me. She began to tell me how she perceived me to be impactful and influential, not just to people in the conference, but that I needed to find ways to expand and expose more people to my philosophies, my methodologies, and ways of helping students be successful in their educational pursuits. Needless to say, when I walked away from that conversation, I was satisfied because I got to do what I enjoy doing most, and that's pouring into others to help them move forward in their lives. But I also walked away encouraged and invalidated and, and, and motivated because when that young lady began to speak to me, the dynamics changed. I was no longer just a giver. I became a receiver, too. You see, what I'm trying to say to you today is real simple, see? Never discount an encounter with another human being. Keep an open mind because everyone has something to offer and you never know that something may be just what you need. You have to make it your practice to share your thoughts and your ideas and your input every opportunity that you get, but also be open and aware enough to receive what others are sharing with you. My point is this, man, never take an encounter with another human being lightly. Every encounter can be life-changing because at any time during that encounter, you could be the giver or the receiver or both. We all have something important to offer, and that something can be just what someone else needs. I'm Dr. Newton, and this was a minute of medicine for your mind.